Hi, this is Lori from bookpromotion.com and Get Creative Inc. And I just wanted to take some time to show you how to set up a website in uh, six minutes or less. I'm going to use a timer so you can see that it really is this quick to set up. I just wanted to share this with you because I think a lot of people get hung up on the setup part and it really holds people back. So the first thing to remember is that you really, really do need your own website these days. I don't mean one that's free. Uh, sites on platforms like Blogger, Weebly, and Wix uh, can go away at any time. And I also mean WordPress.com. Those sites belong to someone else. So you shouldn't be building your platform for your business on someone else's, on someone else's business, basically. Also remember, you don't own the design. So over there so you don't have all the control that you could have over your website which you need control over your site in order to get the good rankings and build your business and so the last word on that is you are building your business platform and your website should be at the center of that platform I'm gonna go over a few domain guidelines that I'm going to use in the demonstration I'm doing all this before I start the clock because obviously this is uh, just background info and if you know you want to set a website up just uh, fast forward to when you see the clock so these are my basic domain guidelines for people. Um, do try to get what you want, like your name of, or the name of your business, but do not overpay, backorder, or negotiate with the private party. Um, you want to get going. You, you don't want to be held up in a back and forth negotiation that might price you out. Uh, do not put a hyphen in the domain. I would rather see you add words to the domain like author or writer or you know, whatever your business is, than to hyphenate because it's just easier to rank a site that doesn't have a hyphen in it. Also, do not use one of those funky extensions like .info, .biz, .ninja, or anything else they come out with because those, I have found them to be harder to rank. Your whole point is to just get yourself a website going that will be found by Google and that you can add to easily. Do get as close as you can to the domain that you want in .com, .net, or .org form. I suggest adding words like author, if you make an author site, or my you know, blank, blank dot com if you are trying to make like a healthcare site or something like that and you don't want to use your own name. So um, those are my basic guidelines. I'm using GoDaddy uh, because they offer good deals and they have really good customer service. So if you get stuck, you can call them. Now, this is how you get to the coupon. Go to my site, which is getcreativeinc.com, and um, click on this button right here underneath recommended hosting. Uh, the offer is hosting for $1 a month plus a free domain for the first year, um, which is a great deal. I'm going to recommend the economy hosting um, right here, unless you have more than one domain, in which case take the good deal on deluxe hosting. You don't need any more than that. So just take the um, the economy hosting, um, pick your domain name by using the best practices that I outlined before. I'm going to pick um, the best example site.com because I think it's obscure enough to where it will be still available. Um, and it is. So I'm going to click add and continue. And um, so then it's going to take me to my shopping cart. Uh, so as you can see, it's given me um, the hosting for a dollar a month and the, uh, the domain for free. The only option I would recommend you taking is making your domain private for $7.99 a year. And that's only if you don't want your information to be public, like you don't have a company name and address or a P.O. box or something like that. Okay, this part right here is where people panic and start to overspend. So I'm here to tell you, you don't need any of these things. Don't get the matching domains. You're never going to use them. Don't get search engine visibility. You're going to do that yourself. Just get hosting and a domain and privacy if you need it, and then just get out of there. But um, So as you can see, I've got the whole thing. I've got $86 off, and I'm just going to proceed to checkout. And then... If you have a customer number and username already with GoDaddy, go ahead and enter it. I'm going to make a brand new account. And what I'm going to do is pause the video while I fill this whole thing out. And then when I get to the other side, I will um, 
turn the video back on and start the clock at the same time. Okay, we're back and uh, it's a good thing I paused that because I'm sure it took me much longer to fill that out than it would you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start the clock. And um, as you can see, I've already signed up. And um, so I'm going to go over and set up the web hosting. The web hosting is on the top because it's the first thing you need to set up. So be sure to pick that one first. Um, the first thing you do is set up cPanel or control panel. And that's where uh, you can see a lot of things associated with the back end of your website. Uh, for the cPanel, you need your own username and password, which I'm setting now. And GoDaddy is going to also email these to you so you can get into the cPanel later. And as you can see, it's already associating itself with that domain that you chose, so that's very handy. Uh, now it's going to go through and start setting up internally all the things that you would um, need for the cPanel. And in, inside the cPanel you'll find access to controlling the email for that domain and um, things like installations, like software, which is what we're going to put, the, the WordPress is a software that we're putting on the back end of the domain. And it's going to associate itself with the DNS, which is very convenient since you don't have to change that. And it's just about done, and then we're going to go and set that website up in the 4 minutes and 40 seconds we have left. Okay, here we are over in the control panel, and I'm going to do my best not to hide the clock. You, what you need to do is scroll all the way down to where it says WordPress, click that, and then click install this application. And uh, this is going to be blank. If it isn't, then just backspace over whatever they have in here. Uh, it should be blank, and that's good that it's blank because you want the installation to go on the domain itself and not into a folder. Um, now go down. Uh, version. This version is good. Accept the license agreement. Um, automatic updates to minor versions is fine. Um, all of these are fine. You'll need to choose, um, it's chosen an administrator uh, username. Uh, you can show the password and you need to write this whole thing down so that you'll see, uh, have it again when you need to log in. Uh, you can change the name of your website uh, to your name or whatever you're calling the website. And um, the only thing that I don't enable is uh, two-factor authentication. I just think that's a confusing feature. So then you're going to click install, and it's going to install itself. And this is really the hardest part. So um, as you can see, it wasn't that hard. It just has a lot of choices, and that's what usually gets people confused, and then they stop or... Um, you know, they, they get sidetracked by one of the upsells, so you can just ignore everything except for the bare setting up of the site. Okay, this should be just about done, so the next thing we do is bring this up. And the first thing, as you can see, the uh, site is live uh, on the domain, the bestexamplesite.com. And the next thing I usually do is change the theme. So, as you can see, uh, you click Add New, and I like themes from the MH uh, family, um, specifically the magazine theme, I think looks really good and more website-like and less like a blog. Uh, so we'll activate that, and you can switch the theme as many times as you want until you get the look that you want. Okay, so that looks a little more website-like. Um, the next thing I usually do is take these things out of the sidebar. You do that by going to Widgets and just pulling all of these over to here. And then you can see it again. It's just uh, there. And then the last thing we would do is decide if we want uh, the blog on the home page or like a page, in which case if you wanted a page you would um, 
go to, uh, so say we wanted the about page as the home page, you would go to reading and switch the landing page to a static page. And since we only have one page, we're going to make it the about page. Click save changes and you can see now that the about page is the landing page. So now this looks much more like a website. Uh, this will be gone when you log out. So the last thing I can tell you is if you want the blog on the home page because you're you know a writer or something like that uh, just go back and change it back to go to settings reading and go to your latest posts and then click save and when you go there you can see that it's uh, there's the uh, the blog post there so you would need to keep up the blog and you know regularly add things to the page so that is just about all of our time. I'm going to do some wrap-up thoughts uh, just so you can, you know, get some more insights. But that is our time for setting up the site. So here we are back at the slides and um, I hope that you found that setup informative and not too overwhelming. I tried really hard to make it simple and I just wanted to you know, encourage you to now use this website as a platform to build out your whole empire, whether that's like a author site and you want to sell books or you're a small business and, you know, now you have something up and running. So that's great. Also, GoDaddy is going to contact you probably via email. They're going to, you know, offer to sell you things, um, offer you products when you log in and stuff like that. And take those if you want to, but don't feel like you have to. But what you, what you have now, you can really use. You don't need anything else. You have an up and running website now, which is huge. And, you know, most people never even get there. So congratulations. Also, contact me with questions. Um, I will put the answers in follow-up videos to help you grow your website according to what context you're um, thinking about. Or I maybe have already made a video um, that I can just send you. So shoot me an email, info at getcreativeinc.com. And be sure to check back at uh, the website that we just set up, thebestexamplesite.com, because that's where I'll be posting the videos and I'll be using that site as an example. But definitely change as needed. Um, you can switch the theme. You, anything you need to do, there is a plugin for it. Uh, but you do need to kind of log in, you know, update your site, keep track of changes and people that are going there and you know it's it's just a great tool to build your business and um, thanks for watching